My name is Brandon Goff. I'm an orthopedic surgeon that specializes in minimally invasive hip and knee replacement. My educational background started back in uh, 2002 in Alabama. I went to undergraduate school at Spring Hill College, a small uh, Jesuit school in Mobile, Alabama. Spent four years there, which then led me to Creighton University, another Jesuit school for my medical school in Omaha, Nebraska, where I spent four years. From Omaha, I then moved to Wichita, Kansas, where I trained in orthopedic surgery for five years, and then moved to Phoenix, Arizona for my fellowship, where I spent one year with Dr. Headley learning advanced techniques in hip and knee replacement, specifically minimally invasive and muscle sparing, and have built my practice up to what it is today. Basically, I do a minimally invasive muscle sparing robotic total knee replacement, which means I don't cut any muscle at all when I do the surgery. And then on top of that, I'm using a robotic application where I use the Mako robot for the surgery. I'm the one of the biggest robotic uh, knee replacement users in the country. I'm actually a trainer of this technique. We've had excellent outcomes with it, and I've been using it since 2012. The quadriceps is not cut, so the patient can literally straight leg raise and walk down the hall within a couple hours of surgery. We definitely think this helps in the recovery. The, the pain, the swelling, the range of motion typically comes back faster because of these techniques. So with the minimally invasive muscle sparing robotic assisted knee replacement, we keep that incision as small as possible and, and the most importantly, we don't cut any muscle so we can get that done and get you back to going faster. Hiking, biking, elliptical, cycling, fast walking, all of that is fair game, golfing, um, and, and usually they can get back to those activities quicker than they think. If I were to have my knee replaced, this is the technique that I would want. I do a muscle sparing, minimally invasive, hip approach or hip replacement. This technique is called the direct superior hip approach. I've got probably the second most volume in the country doing this procedure, so I'm extremely comfortable doing it. We've been doing outpatient total hip replacement with this since 2012 with extreme success. The advantages are the less downtime, less tissue damage, lower dislocation rate, lower complication rate such as bleeding or nerve injury, and earlier return to function, which you know is, is what everybody's looking for at this day and age. We're able to use a much smaller incision, do much less tissue damage because of the special instruments that I actually helped design. Our incision is typically 10 centimeters or less, which is really not that big. That's about three and a half inches. What's most significant is underneath this skin incision, the amount of tissue dissection and muscle releases that we have to do is, is next to nothing compared to what it used to be. And that's why the patients can get up and move much quicker with less pain. One of the biggest fears people have after hip replacement is a hip dislocating or the ball, the ball popping out of the socket. I don't even think about this anymore because of this procedure. The hip's extremely stable and we can let patients do things that I never thought that we'd let them do and not even have to worry about it. So it's, it's been uh, remarkable to see the results we've been getting. For return to activities after direct superior hip replacement, I pretty much let patients do whatever they want except for running. The reason why I don't want people running is not that they can't do it. They can absolutely do it. It's, they're gonna wear their hip out faster. The hip that I'm currently using should potentially last 30 plus years. I've been here since 2011 where I live with my family, my wife and my four kids who keep us on our toes. I have twins that are 12 years old, a five-year-old and a two-year-old who we affectionately call Boss Baby and basically runs our life. I really enjoy the outdoor activities that Arizona has to offer. I like to mountain bike, I like to road bike, I like to hike, I really like to golf. Uh, that's one of the biggest draws for Arizona and uh, I've seen a lot of Arizona, about 30,000 miles on my bike and uh, it really has given me a new perspective on what it's like to live here. It's been great. 